All right guys, Cody Meyer here. We are back, Northern California today. It is a beautiful day. And what I want to share with you guys today is sight fishing. You know, how to catch fish throughout the spawn. You know, kind of the steps, the baits, the rods, the reels, what I like to use um, for sight fishing. You know, throwing a frog, covering a bunch of water, locating a lot of bed fish, and then to what my first pitch is going to be when I find those bed fish to really my last resort to catch these bed fish. So, should be fun today, stay tuned. Hopefully we catch some big ones, but uh, we're gonna have some fun, guarantee it. There he is. Oh, right, sight fishing 101. Definitely in the mouth right there. You know, and that's what I wanna share with you guys is kinda What's the approach I take with sight fishing? You know, always my first pitch is gonna be something with big line. That's 25 pound die with J4 right there. That way, if I do get that bite on that spawning fish, I have a lot better chance of landing that thing. You know, this has quickly become one of my favorite little sight fishing, bed fishing baits. And this is Strike King, four inch menace grub. Uh, honey candy is the color here. Throwing this on a little owner, three aught jungle flipping hook, little Texas rig, striking weight. But again, the combo, you know, for me, we're sight fishing. These fish, they're aggressive right now. So the first cast always is gonna be something with big line. You know, again, 25 pound Daiwa J Floro, uh, eight foot flipping stick, and then brand new Daiwa Tattoo Elite flip and pitch reel. And again, when you get a bite with this combo, most of the time you're gonna land those fish, even in the thickest of stuff. Nice one. I sure is nice having that die with Tattoo Elite eight foot flipping stick. You know what I'm doing right now? I'm really, I've been throwing the frog down this bank and I'm looking out, I'm seeing these little clear spots, these little uh, light spots, and I'm throwing this menace up and I'm slowly working it along the bottom, you know, just hopping it along the bottom. I visually cannot see these bed fish, but I'm imagining where the fish are, fishing the bait in the bed really slow and uh, we're getting a couple of these, these bites. And again, my first pitch, always big line, 25 pound, little menace there, flipping stick. You're gonna get them every time. There's one down there. Oh, that's her, nice one. Man, another nice one right there, you know, I love this little Strike King Menace. It's so small and compact. Again, on the bigger line, I mean, that's a nice male. And we're, we're just getting into an area where there's a lot of fish. So again, my first cast is always gonna be with bigger line. Try to get that, that bite. Uh, but again, when you can't get some of those fish, I result uh, to going back down to a spinning rod, lighter line, you know, maybe something like a Ned rig. And I wanna catch as many fish as we can. So let's go ahead and put her back and keep going. You know, this fish is being pretty finicky. That's really when I'm gonna put the bait down, the bigger bait, you know, pick up lighter line. You know, this is a little eight pound test rod with the shaky head. I really try to finesse these fish. You know, sometimes on these highly pressured fish, that's what it takes to get some of these fish to bite. A little craw, a little Strike King Ned bug. Put it right in the bed. There he is. And I worked that fish there for probably about five minutes and uh, picked up this little owner shaky head, some eight pound test line. This little Strike King Ned bug and got her. And you know, sometimes that's what it's gonna take. I mean, some of these fish, like you say, they've been pressured. You know, they're not really wanting to eat right now. So you gotta finesse them a little bit and uh, that's my little, you know, one-two approach with, with what I actually throw when I see a bed or uh, I think there's a bed to get him to bite there. Got him. Oh, that's a nice one. 
That is a nice one. A little light line. Sweetie. Oh man, look good. Got it, yes. Look at that there, a little straight king. Little Ned bug right there. Again, in the mouth, you know, that is, uh, that is really cool. When you can see him, that, that one I got to see. When you can see him come up, swim up, eat the bait. You know, again, I was flipping in that, uh, the medicine there, you know, multiple times, couldn't get him the bite. Downsize line, little finesse approach. Caught that nice one. That's a really good fish. All right, let her go. Well, let's keep going. You know, we're going down this, we're in the spawning cove. Let's keep going down this bank. See if we can get a couple more to, uh, to end this vlog. This has been a blast so far. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at this one. <laughs> Big one to say it's a frog. Choked it too. Come here. Oh, got her. That is why, look at that, sexy frog gone. I love to throw the frog, you know, in the spring when I'm looking for bed fish, really going down the bank, throwing the frog as I'm looking. You catch a lot of really good fish just like that. That was awesome. Go ahead and release her. Got it. Look at that. That's a big one. You know, that's why I'm throwing the frog, I'm covering a bunch of water, and here comes this fish. Always have a follow-up bait, you know, a little Strike King Ocho, just like that. Look at the size of this one. Finally wearing her down. Right on, come here. Got her. Look at that there, a little Strike King Ocho, like I say, have a follow-up bait. You know, we've been throwing the frogs and uh, it's just a good follow-up bait. You know, when you see those fish, they come up, they show themselves like that fish did. Always have something ready to throw it back in there and catch another one. There he is. Aggressive little fish there. Hey, still fun on a frog, you know. Like I say, we're cruising down. It's been a blast so far. You know, catching them on a frog, sight fishing them. The main reason I'm throwing frog is covering water as I'm looking for some of these bed fish. Decent fish right there, for sure. All right, another nice little fish. You know, when I'm throwing the frog, this is Strike King, sexy frog. Uh, the, the equipment, the setup is really, really important. You know what I like? This is a Daiwa Tattoo of the Elite, seven foot, four inch, uh, heavy rod. But what I like is something that's not too heavy. Um, you don't need an extremely heavy flipping stick. You just need something that's, uh, you know, around that seven two to seven foot, four inch uh, mark. Really a medium heavy to a heavy rod. I like a rod with a softer tip. That way it really allows you to work that frog. You know, if you have a really stiff, um, tip, you can't work the frog, get that side-to-side -side walking action. So I like a, a softer tip with a lot of backbone. And that backbone, of course, when you get that big blow up, that big bite, you know, in some heavy cover on a long cast, you have the, the strength to get that, that fish, fish in. And as far as the reel goes, you know, this is a new Daiwa Tattoo Elite reel, 7-1 um, gear ratio. That's about the slowest gear ratio I'll throw when I'm fishing a frog. A 7-1, I'll go up to an 8-1, um, something with a high gear ratio. You know, this is 50 pound Daiwa J braid. You know, I do a 50 to a 65 pound J braid. And again, this is combat fishing. You know, you're, you're catching big ones. And this is the time of the year I feel like where you catch some of your biggest fish on a frog, covering water like this, fishing around some of those pre-spawn, uh, spawning fish, you get some really big blow-ups and catch some really big fish.
<laughs> Another nice one on the frog. You know, it's getting to that time of the day too where shade is becoming really important with these frog bites. That thing is pegged. Sexy frog. Go ahead and release her. Oh, here we go, dude. Oh, another good one. That was so cool. Cruising down the bank, frogging, looking, and catching. Dude, this thing is mean. Definitely having the right setup is, is key. All right, got it. Look at that. Got her inside the mouth there. Hey, this has been a blast today. Let's go ahead and release this fish. It's a beautiful one too. So, you know, it's been, a, it's been a great day so far. I mean, really the fish are spawning. There's a lot of fish, you know, up shallow right now. There are some post-spawn fry garters. That's where I'm throwing the frog with. But when I slow down and the frog shows me a fish or I see a bed fish, I'm really gonna start by flipping the Strike King Menace. And the setup, like I say, is very crucial. I'm throwing a Daiwa Tattoo Elite, eight foot flipping stick. You know, this is a heavy flipping stick. It's got a little bit of a soft tip. I highly recommend a seven six to an eight foot rod, um, a flipping stick style rod to, to really have the power to get some of those fish out. As far as the reel goes, I'm throwing this new Daiwa Tattoo Elite flip and pitch reel. It's got a 100 millimeter handle, seven one gear ratio again. I recommend a high gear ratio, powerful reel um, to when you flip out there, you get that bite. Got a lot of power to reel them in. As far as the line, this is 25 pound die with J fluorocarbon. Really, really good line. Uh, the bait, Strike King Menace, Menace, four inch little grub here, three eighths of an ounce Strike King Tour Grade Tungsten and a little three aught owner jungle flipping hook. Really, really good for, for sight fishing. And my last approach, again, this is a three prong approach here. We got the frog, we got the menace on heavy line. And when we need to finesse some of these fish, we're going down to an eight pound test, little Strike King Rage Ned Bug. You know, I'm throwing this on a little eighth ounce owner shaky head. It's got a little bit bigger of a hook and you can get it completely Texas rigged and weedless. It's on a little green pumpkin color today. And uh, again, like I mentioned, the lighter line. You know, this is eight pound die with uh, J Floro paired up with a 10 pound Daiwa J Braid X8 in the chartreuse color. And the rod, you know, this is a rod I recommend. Again, I recommend something from seven foot and, and a little bit higher. This is a seven foot, four inch Daiwa Tattoo Elite rod. Uh, it's a versatile rod I designed. Very, very parabolic bend. Perfect for, for throwing that lighter line. And the reel, you know, I like something that has a high gear ratio. This is a new Daiwa uh, Tatula LT, 3000 size. Really fast gear ratio when you make a long cast, you can pick up a lot of lines. So again, hopefully you guys learned something today. You guys enjoyed it. We're gonna switch gears right now. We're gonna go do something different, try to catch a real big fish. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like, share, and tag a friend, and we'll see you next week.